Hi, this is Josh, pharmacist with PharmacistTips.com. Here with a quick video um, about ranitidine. I'm still getting a lot of questions. What happened to ranitidine? Why is ranitidine not available in the pharmacy? Has it been banned? So officially, ranitidine products have all been um, removed from the market. The FDA has requested that manufacturers withdraw all prescription and non-prescription um, versions of ranitidine. So brand name Zantac and many over-the-counter preparations as well as prescription pe preparations. Um, what it is, there was a recall. They found the known carcinogen NDMA in ranitidine products. And they found that it may, this product can break down at, at, at temperatures higher than room temperature and cause more of this. So ranitidine itself breaks down and can increase the levels of NDMA in the product. So if you think about it, you know, a lot of our products are shipped in containers and trucks to the pharmacies. That higher temperature in that setting could increase the amount of this product um, in the ranitidine. So at this time, they've had it all removed from the market and it it most likely will not come back. They're, it's unlikely that ranitidine will come back on the market. And just as a background, ranitidine is a histamine 2 or H2 blocker. It's used to decrease the amount of stomach acid. Um, and of course, it's used to treat reflux and all sorts of um, issues related to higher stomach acid. So what do they recommend? If you still have some, of course, they re recommend you stop taking of it stop taking it and dispose of it properly um, and you can you should speak to your healthcare provider obviously if you feel that you still need this treatment remember stomach issues can be treated oftentimes with diet not always but uh, it is worth chatting with your healthcare provider about seeing if we could tweak a few things um, and improve the symptoms in this press release from the FDA they also recommend alternatives so motorine as pepsid Cimetidine, tagamet, and then the other stronger ones here. We'll talk just a little bit more on the next slide. And then just more disposal recommendations. So again, the other H2 blockers available would be famotidine or Pepsid, and which by far, this is the one I've seen most people switch to is um, famotidine or Pepsid, both available in over-the-counter in the U.S. as well as prescription. Cimetidine tagamet would be another option. Again, both prescription and non-prescription forms available. Proton pump inhibitors, that'd be omeprazole like Prilosec, azomeprazole, Nexium, Lansoprazole, Prevacid. These are stronger, so they will work for those symptoms. But as with all these, whenever you have stomach acid issues, you want to use the lowest dose of the most effective medication. These are harder to stop taking. Uh, the proton pump inhibitors generally need to be tapered off of those because if you quit them cold turkey, you can get a little hyper acidity or, or increase in stomach acid. So certainly a conversation you want to have with your provider if you feel like you still need ranitidine, but you can no longer get it. Thanks for watching. I hope you appreciate this short video. I would appreciate it if you'd subscribe to my channel. Thanks again for watching.